David, I guess at times it's been a long and frustrating season for you, but to come back into the into that environment and to win the game must be just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, obviously been tough. Uh, I was out right at the start of the season for ten weeks, uh, getting back to fitness, to sharpness. You know, coming to a big game like this, you know, three points behind Aberdeen, we go we go above them now, um, and to come up here and display the boys put in, you know, it's, it's immense. Especially when we go down to ten men, you see, you see the togetherness, you see everyone digs in uh, together. You see Kenny. Uh, Josh all holding the ball up, winning headers that they just shouldn't win. Um, so it was brilliant just can't be and get the win. Tell us just how hard you guys had to battle. Obviously, I would have got so many a- attacking yeah. options, but you must be so pleased with your own performance in terms of keeping them out. <laughs> yeah, especially when we had the 10 men, you know, if they threw everyone forward. Uh, the goalie goal came up at one point as well. Um, but obviously, everyone dug in. I mean, Tab, you see Tab making tackles, Dex winning headers, you know, like, ones they don't need to win when Rooney's going across and he's a, a lot bigger than them. So, I mean, everyone dug in, it's just brilliant. Tell us about the, the final whistle there, the, the, the relief, I guess, amongst the boys, but also going across to, to celebrate yeah. those fans, a fantastic moment. When you heard that final whistle, I mean, you could see on the pitch, the fans, the fans erupted. Um, just getting that three points was massive, especially when we went to ten men. I mean, Josh getting that in the second goal, just, that obviously gives a wee bit of comfort, but not, not much. Uh, they scored that good free kick, but that's the football. Played again. Well, you played with Danny in the first half, Fabio in the second half. You played a, a little with Fabio in pre-season. How did you, you find playing with both of them today? Well, obviously I, I played with Danny quite a lot um, at the end of the last season before he got injured. Then you know I, I know Danny well, and, and he's, he's a brilliant centre half uh, positionally. He talks to you well. He gives you little, little pointers. And then Fabio, I played with him a lot in pre-season. Uh, even a couple of um, development games, I played uh, the testimonial at Berwick with Fabio, so I know Fabio well as well. Get on with both of them, brilliant, and both good footballers. We don't know what's going to happen with Graham Murty uh, in the week to come, but if this has to be his last game, yeah. tell us just about the job that he's done with the boys over the last couple of weeks. I mean, as soon as he came in the door, well, he came up to the first team. Uh, he, the lift he gave us all, it was unbelievable. I mean, the boys played playing for him all the time, every week. I mean, and he's, he's done a brilliant job um, getting, us, getting us lifted. Obviously, the last, the Dundee and the Hallam game, obviously, was, it was poor games, but to come and get the, the two wins for him here against Aberdeen at home and then away to Aberdeen, it's, it's brilliant.